Amerindian community of Bethany in Osupanam Creek in Region 2 is now poised for greater agriculture development through a promise kept by His Excellency President Dr. Irfanadi. On Thursday last, Agriculture Minister Zulfikar Mustafa and a team from his ministry, along with the regional chairman and other officials of the Regional Democratic Council of Region 2, traveled to the community to officially hand over a $45.5 million long boom excavator. The new piece of equipment will now mean better drainage and irrigation for the community, enhance land clearing capacity, and generally realize a more self-sufficient community in terms of advancing the business business of agriculture. Speaking to the residents of Bethany, Agriculture Minister Zulfikar Mustafa stressed that this latest gesture is another example of government's commitment to agriculture development across the country. He noted that government's response to the needs of the various communities across the country is directly correlated to the need as expressed by the residents of those communities, Bethany being one such community. Now today I want to say we are about to execute those commitments that we have made because as a party and as a government we take our commitments very seriously it might not happen the same time that we want it to happen so because sometimes when we say that we'll do something it might not happen within a week it might not happen within a month but rest assured it will happen and today we are here to fulfill another commitment of your party, the People's Progressive Party Civic, that was made some time ago. So first of all, I want to say that today we are seeing massive development taking place in our country. And that also includes, as the Tushaw rightly said, includes all the Armenian communities across our country. Uh, if I'm not uh, mistaken, 243 villages across our country. And you yourself, you yourself would have witnessed the transformation that is taking place in our country. Be it health, education, public infrastructure, agriculture, housing, you name it. In every single field, we are having transformational development taking place. In Bethany, we are working with the community, we are working with your Tushau, your village leader, to enhance this community. We know for a fact that you all depend mostly on agriculture. And as your Minister of Agriculture, I want to assure you here this afternoon that we will continue to work with your community. We will ensure that we enhance your livelihood. We will we'll continue to bring transformation to your life so that you and your future and future can be secure. Minister Mustafa informed that through the Ministry of Agriculture, a number of programs are being advanced across the country, including indigenous communities. We have a hinterland program that we are working very aggressively to um, those programs to roll out. We have started already some of those programs in various communities and over the next few months, over the next year, or in the next eight months, you'll see massive development taking place in your community besides what have already been done. So what we'll be doing, you'll see, first of all, we'll ask the to show to send us the needs of the community, what you need for us to do. You have already made certain uh, proposal which you have taken on board. Now, also, as I said, that you have a very good to show. She has been making representation very aggressively for your community. And you also should be proud because she is the vice chair, right, of the National To Show Council. So your community have the second highest person in our country in the national to show council your people so i want to also congratulate you on that she has not been only given leadership to your community but she has been given leadership across this country across the 243 villages so when she make rep makes representation she is not only making representation for bethany she is making representation for all the communities and you heard just now how much money the government would have expended in various programs, the capital program, the, the, the LCDS programs. But I want to tell you from the Ministry of Agriculture perspective, we are now in the process of executing a major contract, a contract to empolder your community to have better drainage at a cost of $24 million. 
24 million dollars. The contract is somewhere around here. I just spoke to the contractor, Stan. There. I just spoke to the contractor that he has to complete the work very shortly. And he also has to consult with your community, your village leader, and your and the community to ensure that you, who are the beneficiaries, satisfy with the work that we are doing. So in that area, we are expending $24 million. Now, bringing us what we are, why, why we are here. We made a commitment at that meeting, and at the, th at the two shows meeting, we meant that you ask for an excavator, that you need an excavator to transform your community. We know the purpose of an excavator, the number of roles that this excavator can play in your community. It could clear land, it could enhance your drainage system, it can help farmers to enhance their, their, their holdings. So we decided that the best thing to do, rather than to send contractors all the time, and contract is for a short period, and when the contractor completes its work, they will have to re-community, and then you have to do another request for another set of work, we decided that we will give you your own excavator. And we are here to talk to you. The Agriculture Minister stressed that an operator for the machine would be trained by the Ministry and employed as the community's operator for the excavator. But in the meantime, an operator would be provided in the interim so that urgent works can begin immediately. Minister Mustafa said that with a price tag of $45.5 million, the excavator brings up to more than $100 million investments for the community of Bethany this year, with more still to come over the remaining months of the year. He stressed that communities like Bethany must rise to the challenge of increasing agriculture output to meet the growing demands for food regionally and internationally, especially in light of Vision 25 by 2025. So this machine here this afternoon, which can do a number of work, is a long boom machine, is a big machine. We will train an operator who reside in this community to operate this machine. The NDIA head is here, Mr. Lionel. He will ensure that we have the operator trained as early as possible, or if not, if we have an operator in the community, then we can engage that operator. You will control this excavator. This excavator is for the community of Bethany alone. So you control it. You own today this excavator. This is a gift from the government of Guyana to the community of Bethany, to you, the residents. And I hope, I hope that you use it wisely. You use it to transform your community. Because what we are doing now, we are putting a lot of investment in various sectors. We want Guyana to be food secure. We want communities like these to make a valuable contribution to Guyana's food security. And that is why if we can give you these equipment, you will be able to develop large-scale agriculture uh, outputs coming out of these communities. So what we'll be doing, I'll be sending back a team from NARI. In, um, NARI head is here. Where is him? Stand up, uh, Mr. Jack Narain. I will ensure that they come here with a plan to work with you to see what's, what are the most appropriate crop and we'll ensure that we work with you to develop those crops into large-scale production. So we don't want you to do, you can do small holding for your own subsistence. But we want this community here to do large-scale production. For example, we went to Mashabo and we are helping that community to do a 10-acre in pineapple production. We are helping that community, we have installed marine cages there, pilot project. We went to Oriala Siparuta. We asked them their need there. The president, I went with the president. They said they need pineapple. We do it 20 acres of pineapple for them. I don't know what you want to do here. If you, are, uh, if you all are interested in what type of crop, but I want to assure you that we'll work with you to develop those areas into large scale production. If you want to do pineapple, if you want to do cassava, which is a staple for, uh, for you, we'll continue to, but remember, 
we will give you all the planting material, all the planting material free of cost. Nari will provide that to the community. So if you want pineapple, if you want cassava, you want Edo soccer, because certain areas we are doing, like Port Kaituma. Port Kaituma now have been buying our Edo's from Georgetown and other places. What we plan to do there, to go into Port Kaituma, I already instructed the head of Nari to get the Edo soccer, and we'll do a large scale cultivation there. So the community of Port Kaituma will have their own Edo production. We'll do banana, we'll do plantain, we'll do cassava, large scale in those areas. Also, we went in Region 1, and the President and myself went in Region 1. We earmarked an area to start coffee production. We have the two, the two uh, variety of coffee that we have planted material for. We'll be doing that in Region 1. So Region 1 will be doing a lot of those crops. The other issue is that Region 1 also, we have earmarked Region 1 to be the spice region for our country. Things like ginger, turmeric, nutmeg, and black pepper, and you name it. We are making those planting materials available in Region 1. So we can work out with you all here what are some of the main crops. We can't do everything under the sun. We want to do large-scale production in, in, in a few crops so that you can earn a decent income. We, from the Ministry of Agriculture, through the new GMC, will find the market for you. Bethany is a community that straddles two sides of the Zupanam Creek with some 120 farmers cultivating crops on lands ranging in size from two acres to as much as 30 acres. Earlier in the day, Minister Mustafa and team commissioned two mini excavators to be used in housing communities in Anna Regina. The two pieces of equipment were acquired for the town by the NDIA.